Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Um, I've been inside most of the day and decided to come into my backyard for a little um, fresh air and to kind of watch the birds and the sky and the clouds and kind of see what's going on out here. Um, and then I remembered that I have this book called The Cloud Book by Tommy De Paola, who is one of my favorite authors and he's Italian and he writes um, some, some favorites like Streganona is a really popular one that is by the same author, Tommy De Paola. So this one's called The Cloud Book and I decided to choose this book today because the weather is a little bit strange here. The, the clouds are just covering the whole sky so you can't really see blue sky and I'm wondering what kind of weather that's going to bring. The Cloud Book by Tommy De Paola. Almost any time you go outside and look up at the sky, you can see clouds. Clouds are little drops of water or ice hanging in the upper atmosphere high above the earth. And if you could hop on a bird and fly way up, you would see the whole earth covered with clouds. Have you ever seen one of those pictures taken by NASA from the moon or from space looking down on the earth? And you can see lots of ocean and you can see lots of clouds covering the planet. There are many different kinds of clouds. Some are high up, some are in the middle, and some are low down in the sky. The three main types of clouds are called cirrus, cumulus, and stratus clouds. You can tell them apart by the way they look and by where they are in the sky. Cirrus clouds are white and feathery, and they are the highest clouds. They are sometimes called mare's tails. A mare is like a horse, a type of horse. So they look kind of like this. I don't see any cirrus cloud in my sky today. Cumulus clouds are puffy and look like cauliflowers. They also have flat bottoms and they were always changing shape and they are low down to the sky. This is a cloud. This is a cauliflower. I don't see any cumulus clouds either. Those are like the big fluffy ones that we usually see here in the desert. Stratus clouds are low also. They look like wide blankets of gray and are sometimes called high fogs. Drizzle or snow flurries may fall from them. So, hmm, I think what I'm seeing today are some stratus clouds. And I'm wondering if probably no snow flurries here in the desert, but maybe a drizzle will happen. There are also many other kinds of clouds. They have longer names because they look like cirrus, cumulus, or stratus clouds mixed together in pairs. Cirrocumulus clouds are small fleecy masses that are hard to see. They are very high up in the sky. Some people call them mackerel sky. The French called them moutons, which means sheep. I don't speak a very great French. Cirrostratus clouds are high up too. They cover the sky in thin milky white sheets. When you look at the sun and moon through them, you can see a halo. Cirrostratus clouds are sometimes called bedsheet clouds. Here's the sheep and the cirrocumulus. And here's the cirrostratus clouds. This is, have you ever seen sometimes at night when the moon is out and the sky is cloudy and you can see like a rainbow halo, rainbow circle um, around the moon. And that's because the moonlight is shining through the moisture that's in the clouds, the wet water that's making up the clouds. Kind of an interesting thing. Alto stratus and alto cumulus clouds are found in the middle of the sky. Alto stratus clouds look like sheets of gray or blue and rain or snow may fall from them. Alto cumulus clouds look like cirrocumulus clouds. 
but the puffs are much larger. They are gray and whitish, and if you walk underneath them, you might feel some drizzle or some snow flurries. So different kinds of clouds can help us know what kind of weather is gonna, we're gonna experience. Nimbostratus, stratocumulus, and cumulonimbus clouds are low down to the sky. Steady rain or snow falls from nimbostratus clouds. They are easy to see because they are heavy and dark. So nimbostratus clouds, those are like big dark rain clouds. Looks like that duck might need an umbrella too. Do ducks use umbrellas? Stratocumulus clouds look like rolls of blackish or bluish clouds, but they are not really rain clouds. They are often seen in winter. Cumulonimbus clouds are the kind of clouds you see during thunderstorms. They look like mountains of very tall cumulus clouds. So when we get our desert monsoons, those are some of the clouds we see when we're in the summer, when we get big, big desert rain. Fog is a cloud made of water droplets that come from, come from at ground level, that form at ground level. It can come right into your front yard, especially if you live on a mountain. Have you ever seen fog before? It's like a cloud that goes all the way down and touches the ground. We don't get a lot of fog here. Up in the mountains, people give special names to clouds. One cloud is called the banner cloud. Another cloud is called a boa cloud. Here's a banner cloud and here's a boa cloud. Why do you think that one's called a boa cloud? The boa, this boa is not a cloud. It is a snake. In the olden days, people looked at the clouds and saw things. The Native Americans saw thunderbirds in dark storm clouds. The ancient Greeks believed that Her Hermes, the messenger of the gods, who was also the wind, once stole the sun's cattle, which were clouds. Here's the sun, the Hermes, and the cattle. In a Labrador, which is way up north, and in Labrador, which is way up north, people believed the fog was caused by a white bear who drank too much water and burst. <laughs> this is like a little comic strip. Here's the bear drinking water. And then he gets so, so, so full and bursts into clouds. That's an interesting idea. People saw giants, animals, ships, and castles in the clouds too. There are some sayings about clouds that help you tell about the weather. For farmers, when the fog goes up the mountain hopping, and the rain comes down the mountain dropping. So these are things that people say sometimes when they see clouds and decide about what the weather's gonna be like. For travelers, evening red and morning gray set the travel traveler on his way. Evening gray and morning red bring down rain upon his head. If there are large clouds in the morning, some people say, in the morning mountains, in the evening fountains. There's a really rainy cloud. And sailors know that mackerel scales and mare's tails make lofty ships carry low sails. Whoa. Look what's happening to that ship. Big storms can be pretty dangerous if you're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. But usually people who sail boats know how to handle that kind of stuff. There are funny sayings too. If people don't seem to know what they're doing, other people say, he's in a fog. She has her head in the clouds. And now here's a very silly cloud story. Ta-da! Turn the page. Tommy J. Powell is a fun author. The cloud enters a room. The cloud fills the room. The cloud leaves the room. The room. 
So you see, clouds are fun, silly, and very interesting. And here's the back. So that was the cloud book by Tommy De Paola. And something that I thought might be fun today and interesting to see is to make yourself a little book like this. So I just took some paper from my printer and I folded it in half and then I added some staples to the top to make my own book. And you can do this to like write down your own stories or you can do it to make like a sketchbook or a notebook. Um, but this is gonna be my cloud book. So I can write Katie's cloud book on my book. And then every day or anytime I remember or throughout the day, today, I can come outside and look at the clouds and I can draw what I see. So here's the tree in my backyard and the mountains in the background. And the clouds just kind of look like a big blanket of clouds. Now, if I was doing this for real, I would take my time and add some extra details and get some colored pencils out and make it, make it beautiful. But right now I'm just doing it quick to show you as an example. Um, and then the next time, well, then I could write down today's Tuesday. So I could write the day down or the date so I know. And then the next time that I wanna record the clouds or if I notice something different, I can do it on my next page and create a whole book. So, hope you have a great day and you can send me your pictures of clouds or tag me on my Instagram at Katie Curtin. And I would love to see what the clouds look like where you are today. So have a great day.